see it all, boys. I've been all over, been everywhere in the whole wide world. I rode the high line with old blind Darby. I danced real slow with Ida. Eyes full of wonder when I lift my freeze blue. Now I'm full of hollow on Maxwell Street. I hope my pony, I hope my pony, I hope my pony. From Natchez to Hush Burkina, I built a fire by the side of the road. And I worked for nothing in a Bell's own sawmill. And I caught a blind out on the beach. The Lula's friendly Bells on it ain't so A 44 will get you 99 I hope my pony I hope my pony I hope my pony knows the way After that, technically, he never did again. So that's the first chapter. <laughs> anyway, and then he goes, Dear Dad, Bob is moving to Florida. So the second day, uh, I, I was on my way to Knoxville to help Bob. Nothing but dreams and trains and smoke. So how I watch and change. I wish I was home in Evelyn's kitchen with old Jip curled around my feet. I hope my pony, I hope my pony, I hope my pony. What follows are edited excerpts from my logbook. Concisions I hope you, good lector, will fill in with what you already know and perhaps expect. Shows the excessant contesting the river, the perpetual hunt for the most promising shoot, the ceaseless crossing from bank to bank, the hard thumps against the canoe, the occasional shocks that rolled, rolled us gunwale to gunwale and made us wish we were on foot. Sun and heat, the aluminum canoe glaring almost as much as the endless water, the continual unspoken realization we were never as far upriver as we either thought or hoped. During it all, not once did the canoe reach a certifying position before I estimated it would, and everything was farther away than we ever believed. Such eternal self-deception helped us continue and sometimes made me think 
the title of this book should be In Praise of Ignorance. WBT, those are my initials, but she came up with some different, uh, it's like we'll be together, W-I-L-L, -L, we'll be together, and th those are her footprints there, and mine here, you know, so, and then Beth and Billy's written up top. Now these, these is one of this is one of eight uprights. It's a framework for an outdoor movie theater, and I want to put them up with my field. And where the screen was, I want to <coughs> tell some sort of story. I don't want it to be just a blank screen like it was. I want you to be able to see through parts of it. And two, I don't want it to catch as much wind. But anyway, I had the idea of using silhouettes uh, because I just put up some. And I thought I would, uh, over a period of probably five years, uh, try to get the silhouettes of people that I admire a lot. And, uh, and I, so I'm gonna try the next time I see Mr. Heat Moon, who's my living Tolstoy. Uh, to uh, let him try to see if he will, and I think he will, uh, get a good pose of him, and I'll put him up there. And I can use letters, to, you know, to put, well, here is this guy, or here is Heat Moon, or something. And, uh, and so, when you came, I thought, well, uh, this is another guy. You know, this is a guy who I met after, while my dad was alive, but really helped me a lot. Uh, through his friendship. Uh, you could refer to me as like t the living Tolstoy's sweeper, the sweeper for Tolstoy. The guy who took a picture of Tolstoy. The, uh, bed chamber maiden, what do they call that? <laughs> the lady that cleans out the bed chamber. And Beth's uncle, who's the town historian, I really like a lot. And I may get his. But you know, when I you come in I think it well I need to get yours I've got a lot of space you know and see I could put them on top I could put them on the side and still have room for a lot of them Uh, 
And on the horn over here that I have, it says blow hard. <laughs> They don't have a lot of dirt pictures on that. Of course, you know that. Uh, and, and some of the Barbies, I think, at least one of the Barbies in the very back came from you. Going with the dollar bill on it, hanging down from the fender. And, uh, oh my God! At the dealership from where I bought that bike. And one of the employees called cops. I couldn't believe it. I'm a member of Hog. You know, part of And they whatever. reported you? And they didn't have the courtesy to say, well, there's something offensive about your bike. We'd like you to move. And they just called the damn police. And I didn't like it. But I, that's a, you know, I was on that farm. But I had, see, I'm, I'm trying to celebrate a lot of stuff there. And like the Barbie dolls, I'm celebrating sex and stuff. Oh, yeah. So I had some girly pictures on there. Oh. They were too explicit for them. Mm -hmm. you know. And there's some bumper sticker law in Tennessee that says you can't ex exhibit these things because they may be a road hazard. So huh. I got my fingerprints on file because of that. Now I went down to Florida on that and I didn't want to, you have to go to court. I didn't want to have to hang around the court. So, I saw a guy, a uh, sheriff's uh, deputy drive by and I, in a buttonhole and I said, come look at my bike and tell me is this legal. And he said, yes. He said, we used to have a, a law like that, but they overturned it. But so I guess some states, he said, you could decorate, you could put even more explicit stuff. <laughs> oh my but the little bitty stuff I had was just out of a girly book, yeah. you know. But I'm just celebrating the sexual communication among adults, you know, yeah. <laughs> during the common act of playful sex. Yeah. Cooking up a Filipina box spring hall. Dig a big pill in a dead alley road. I fill it with my drone and bass. Stinks like hell and the neighbors complain. Give a hoot what they say Gotta slap that hog Roll him over twice Gotta bend him with a sweeping broom Gotta swap them flies and chain up the dog Cooking up a Filipina box spring hog Cooking up a Filipina box spring hog Cooking up a Filipina box spring hog Yellow wig, taint the mince meat.